wake up, Mom. What is it, honey? Where's the eggs? In the refrigerator, behind the leftover Brussels sprouts. Thank you. Mom, where's the butter? Refrigerator, top shelf. Next to Tracy's leftover peanut butter sandwich. Thank you. <laughs> Mom, where's the caviars? We don't have any. Thank you. <laughs> Caviar? <laughs> What's going on? Who's singing? Whoever it is, it could use a vocal coach. It could use a muffler. What's going on? I'm not sure, but I think it has something to do with caviar. Oh. Caviar? <laughs> you sing it with me, okay? Timati, Selyonaya, Sabrabushka. Sing it good. Now give it me some of brandy. Okay, sing. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mom. Ah, good morning, kind, gracious, hospitable American middle class family. Your breakfast is ready. Who are you and what are you doing in my kitchen? We invited a man. Yeah, he looked lonely lying out there in the gutter. <laughs> The gutter is not my living quarters. I was merely painting your house number on the curb. Oh, you must be the man from the home helper service. I am Nicholas Minsky Pushkin, and since your charming children were so delightful and invited me in, I decided to make it for you a luxurious, authentic, and very delicious Russian breakfast. <laughs> Please, si sit down. This morning, you are going to eat it like Russian. Just a second. I dedicate this breakfast to you, beautiful lady. <laughs> Behold, eggs, Siberian style. Mm, ta -da. Uh, of course, I am uh, world famous for this dish, okay. but then I am world famous for many things. Uh, master chef, expert horseman, part-time Cossack. And of course, I am also known as a great artist. You've probably heard of me. Pushkin the Magnificent. Um, Pushkin the Peasant. From Pinsk? Mr. Pushkin. You can't just come into someone's home and fix yourself breakfast. Oh, I, I, I did not do this for myself, but I did this uh, for you. Sometimes my enthusiasticness over bubbles. I'm very sorry. I, I will go now. Thank you for your hospitality. Uh, wait, I, I wasn't asking you to leave. It's just what I meant was you should ask before you fix breakfast. I, I never thought for to ask to do it a good deed. You are very wise lady. Please, wait. Uh, sit down. It would make you happy? We'd be overcome with joy. In that case, you got it a deal. <laughs> I got it worse what you never had before. Breakfast. Yeah, I hope it didn't ruin my appetite for lunch. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your food with me. I must repay you. Oh, wait. There's nothing to repay us for. But you treated me to a meal by a world-famous chef. But you're the world-famous chef. Then you have heard of me. And you've probably also heard I always repay a kindness. I may be a peasant, but I'm not a bomb. Nicholas, really? Well, maybe you got it some kind of odd jobs what needed to be done. 
No, we really don't. Sure we do. We could clean out the garage and mow the lawn. Danny, those are your jobs. Let's just try and help the man out. <laughs> hey, Mom, he could fix the windows that are stuck. Keith, I asked you to do that. <laughs> Say no more. I will unstuck the wonderful windows of this wonderful family. <laughs> Mom, do you get the feeling you've discovered a charming Frankenstein? Was the Frankenstein monster Russian? Yeah, his arm was. His uh, foot was Hungarian, I think. <laughs> See, the monster was made up of a lot of different people. Guess you had to be there. Never mind who are I, who are you, and well, how come you don't knock it on the door from this wonderful family before you come into their very private house? Well, I won't do it again. Uh, oh, oh, kind lady, I find this beady-eyed man sneaking in the house. Nicholas, he's our friend. Friend? Not only that, I am their manager. Oh, friend and mangler. <laughs> Any friend from the partridges is a good friend from mine. <laughs> oh, kind lady, I'm going now for to unstock the windows. Good to meet it, a good friend, beady-eyed man. I liked it better when we were enemies. <laughs> Who was that? His name is Nicholas Minsky Pushkin from Pinsk. Uh-huh. <laughs> Reuben, he, he arrived here this morning and offered his many talents in exchange for breakfast. Oh, I see. A freeloader. No, he's not a freeloader. He offered to repay us. Repay you for what? I'm not sure. <laughs> this one works. Nicholas, that window wasn't stuck. No? It is now. <laughs> but don't worry. I have the strength of ten Holomyekis. And I will... <laughs> fix the broken glass. <laughs> That's it. I have unstuck all your wonderful winters. Oh, that's great. Works like it's brand new. <laughs> Nicholas, thank you very much. It's very nice of you. That was nothing for Pushkin the Magnificent, beautiful ladies. Good night to you both, and I will see you tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? To, um, fix it, the chair. What chair? The, um, chair I broke when I stood on it for to fix it, the window I broke. <laughs> but don't worry your pretty heads about it. I am an expert at fixing chairs, too. <laughs> Good night, gracious, warm, kind, middle-class American family. <laughs> yes, Uh, but you can't go. I got to fix it the things I broke. I got an obligation. But you fixed the chair perfectly. Uh, what about the ladder? What ladder? The one I used to reach the nails to fix it the chair. One of the legs got stuck in the garbage disintegrator. <laughs> but I could fix it. Oh, there's no need for that. It was an old ladder. We were going to throw it away anyway. Was it an old garbage disintegrator? <laughs> Nicholas, uh, believe me, don't worry. You've, you've done more for us than we deserve already. But I can't leave a debit on pay. <laughs> Goodbye, and thank you for everything. Goodbye, kind lady. She thanks me. For what? Thank you.
wrong? I see Nicholas's truck and his tent. And I bet anything Nicholas goes with him. Ah, beautiful American family. <laughs> Nicholas, what are you doing here? I figured out a way to repay you. I painted your garage. <laughs> it is a masterpiece. Well, it can't be too bad. Garages are pretty hard to break. <laughs> Come and see. The beauty of it will clear your bloodshot middle class eyes. Come with me. <laughs> Why is it covered? I told you it's a masterpiece. A masterpiece must be unveiled. I don't believe it. That's my kind of garage.